Welcome back to week seven action for our Central Michigan Chippewas. We are going up against conference opponent UTEP today. Lee's chosen us. We have quite a big edge on them across all facets of the game. And I am feeling pretty good to keep the winning going here this week against them. As you can see, we're better rated offense defense overall or i mean all the stat categories we are crushing them so i got a little bit of a confidence boost seeing this so hopefully they don't come out and upset the shit out of me <laughs> that would kind of suck if they did but we're gonna try to keep it in the win column this week here in week number seven a lot of people at the top continued the winning last week the surprise though is tulsa who have beat Oklahoma and Iowa State. So they're looking pretty good right now. Those are two gigantic wins that they got early in the season. We'll see where that ends up landing them once it's all said and done. The biggest upset though of the week last week was Oregon losing to Colorado, who is now ranked 18th after being unranked and also having a pretty good season so far beat oregon state and oregon back-to-back -back weeks that will get them ranked iowa state lost to texas which dropped them from 7th to 15th texas also now into the top 25 and indiana i mean th this team isn't that great so i mean losing a game to penn state definitely makes sense but they got they got absolutely hammered by penn state which was Kind of expected. The Fighting Illini actually get into the top 25 as well at 22 after they beat Nebraska 38-14. to Go Illinois. Was not expecting that. They're 5-0 to start the season. Michigan State beat Iowa, who dropped from 15th to 24th. And the Terps beat Florida State, which dropped them from 18 to 25. Michigan State is uh, on the hunt. They had 159 votes. I'm sure they'll get in after uh, another win this week. Uh, Miami, SMU, and Stanford all dropped out from the top 25. Well, that's where we sit. Georgia, Cincinnati, North Carolina, and Florida are your top four teams heading into week number seven. Nichols up in the Heisman watch, which is a little surprising. He didn't have the best of games last week, but he's up there now, so I couldn't be happier, especially with how many rushing touchdowns he already has. He's at 14 rushing touchdowns already on the season so man if we could build on this i mean if we could be a finalist for this that would be insane coming out of central michigan as far as recruiting gro goes franklin davis locked us out so it was nice while it lasted but he is now gone we're still dumping some points into our top spots we have a lot of visits coming up this week so this is a big game that we are going to have to win we have the lead and are holding a lead on a few of these, which is really good. We need all of the help that we can get. But we're getting some key parts that we're needing. Safeties, linebackers, those are the main things that we need heading into next season. Spencer will probably drop off after this week. I just want to see, sometimes you can get lucky. Sometimes the cutoff isn't actually the cutoff. Maybe we can sneak into a second spot and just kind of stay alive to the off season. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it there for now. He has a visit coming up, so I might as well just keep him up until that visit goes through. But then scrolling through, even if he doesn't go through, we still have some backup plans. Uh, we have a safety. We have a new defensive end that I actually scouted and found. So we're going to throw some points into him. And also this wide receiver that we are also going to throw some points in because he has 95 speed. I know it's only 83 acceleration, but 95 speed. I'm going to beat that to death. 95 speed. Especially when it's paired with 86 route running. 56 catch. Yeah, redshirt him. You never know what might happen. Nathan Green and Albert Bates were two that committed. So we'll pop them off real quick. And then I went out and found a couple of other linebackers that I want to look at as well. One of them is a Juco. But I mean, if he is good enough, there he is. Alton Castillo. If he is good enough, I will go after it. That's fine. We need linebacker help. So if we take on, you know, a Juco for a couple of seasons while we build up our recruiting, I'm completely okay with that. But I'm going to scout these guys next week, see where they land. Because again, we just need the linebacker help and the safety help. So that is the plan that we're going to do going into week eight. We'll see what 
visits do for us. Hopefully it's something good. And speaking of visits, coming up this week, we have Hal, Turner, Jones, Spencer, Steve Stanley, and Jacob. So we'll need some uh, pass deflections or picks, rushing and passing yards, and also passing yards. Which brings us to our conference matchup this week against the UTEP Miners. Like you saw before, we are ahead in every facet of football. So let's head out onto the field. Let's go and get ourselves another W here in week seven. We got ourselves a snow game today. All right, this should be fun. We just gotta go down and score as quickly as possible. Put the fear of God into them. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I got a little bit stuck there. Yeah, that last game was not good. 22 carries, 56 yards. That's... Need to do better than that, that's for sure. And you know what? I plan on doing that. Richardson just worries me sometimes. He has good games and terrible games. I don't know. Well, I want to try to get the running game going a little bit more. You know, if people can... Block. That'd be great. See if we can get Richardson going uh, a little early. Dropped it. I actually, I actually had the, uh, I had it. I had the post route. Here we go. Our first third down. We definitely don't want to get pushed off this early. So let's see if we can uh, maybe convert this. Got him. Nice. All right. That is a good, 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 good completion. We are not getting a three and out to start this game. Well, I definitely don't like this. Got him. What an underthrow. Oh my God, at least that was such a bad pass. <laughs> he was wide open too. He underthrew him so bad, but at least he, he was able to to stop and catch it. The guy didn't catch back up to it, but oh man, that that was a touchdown. I had a touchdown written all over it. He just underthrew him very badly. There we go. I'll take a four yard rush for the Niggles. We gotta get him, uh, we gotta get him cruising here. Oh my gosh. We went for a tackle and instead hit him? <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> That is freaking awesome. All right, we're gonna get a little play action here. See, maybe we can hit uh, Pimpleton on this little route. I love that route concept in this game. Dixon across the middle of Needed. Got him. Beautiful. Nice gain. We're driving. We got in a little trouble early, but this is a good drive going right here. They're crown box, but we have a yard to go. There we go. Nichols with number 50. And we strike first as Arizona upsets USC. Holy cow. So many upsets this year. All right, after a touchback, we are coming out here. First defensive battle. Kreshke coming up and making a big stop for us. We like to bring the heat, and we're just going to continue to do it. Drop back into a little bit of coverage here. Oh my gosh, another huge stop. Cause that's some good blocking. If they beat that man, that could be very, very, very dangerous. All right, we're gonna br bring bring the blitz. Keep it coming. I'm gonna hope that they go far side of the field with a rush here. Get a stop, baby, come on. Passing. Oh, he dropped it. Woo, thank God. We forced ourselves a three and out. We got some blocking. Oh, uh oh, here we go. Personal foul, flipping. Jesus. Oh man, that was such a good return too. But it was a good return because of the clipping more than likely. I'm gonna try to get Nichols the outside here. See if they hold blocks. They do. We'll take a nice six yard rush there. If we can get the run game going, we can start working in the uh, play action. In a game where play action actually works very well. Oh, it was there. Got the block shed in though. I was gonna try to botch that outside, but that corner got through instantly. Got people done on a little 
option here. Got him. Let's go. Let's keep this thing moving. We don't run this too often. Every once in a while, this works pretty good. Nice. Hamilton himself with a nine, little nine yard rush. I do like the jet sweep. I think it's fun. But let's get it back into the hands of our star. Ah, wow. I actually stopped us there. Okay. Let's get a little big set going. And again, let's not be cute with it. Half back dive. Our bigs versus their bigs. Who pushes them further? We do. By a wide margin. <laughs> a wide margin. I want to take a shot out of this. We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little a little play action post here. If we can suck the linebackers up, if the play action actually works, we might have either of these options on the right here. Oh, just a terrible, terrible pass. Such a bad pass. I'm actually gonna keep this weak side. Nice. A little four yard rush. Get ourselves into a third down and medium here. Take one of my favorite plays. Slot drive. Pimpleton's my first read. Simmons if, you know, we need a, an escape. But if they don't drop anybody out in the flat here, I'm going to take Nichols. All right, we got it. It dropped back into... I don't think it was a cover two because they didn't have a flat on the other side. All right, we're going to go to short side field. This is probably going to be a cut back here. Nice. Third down and one. I'm thinking... I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the quarter run out, but I'm thinking we're going to... I'm thinking another another power O. We'll do a little uh, a little motion power O. All right, here we are. Second quarter, up 7 nothing. We're driving again. Let's see if we can get it in. He gets it for another touchdown. Number 16 on the year for Nichols. This is what we do. We get down close, and then our big versus their big. We're coming out for our second defensive possession here. Hopefully we can get another three and out. That would be phenomenal. Bad pass. Here we go. Third down and five. Let's get another three and out. Oh my gosh. If we could score another touchdown, that would be absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to play the flat just in case they get cute here with a screen. Got the pass off. But we are going to stop them short for another three and out. Going to continue to feed the rock the nickels. Uh, I should have maybe tried to bounce that outside. Didn't get pushed when he met him on the pull there. We're going to see if Pimpleton breaks free here. Sullivan might be able to pull this safety towards the middle. And if he does, we're going to try to hit Pimpleton if we have the time. Oh, instead we hit Sullivan. What a freaking catch. Because that was a really bad pass. What a catch. Holding on to it too. What a catch that was. They're a man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in I'm pretty sure they're a man right here. I didn't know what to do there because I don't think I, I don't want I didn't want to run that play. That would have been a waste of play. And now I mean we still take another five yard penalty because I'm an idiot. Gonna try to throw a screen at him here. Looks like there's a blitz coming. Big blitz coming. They're pressing too. Oh, get me out of this. Oh my gosh, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Oh, if it's just if it's just on target, I think Pimpleton pulls away from him. Richardson just sometimes sometimes man, he just can't he just can't be trusted. Got him. Oh, and then he makes a, a, throws an absolute strike like that, you know? I mean, eight for 11, a buck 39. How am I even mad at that? He's made three pretty poor passes. That one, he stood in that pocket and took it and threw an absolute diamond. Can't be mad at it. I can't be mad at it. I can't be mad at it. 21 to nothing. Oh boy. This could potentially be a route. Can we get another three and out? Oh, 
the, it's still alive. The chance is still alive, but second and inches right off the rip. I'm bringing the heat though. I'm gonna try. We want another three and out. Oh man, they're just like. Come on, bummer. They get their first first out. They really wanted that first down. They came on goal line. <laughs> oh man. Defense is playing good. So far, so good. Nice play. That was a good play. All right, UTEP's got a little bit of a drive going here. We need to go back to what we do best, and that is blitzing. Nice throw. Didn't get any pressure home. Had all the time in the world back there. All right. Let's go, dude. Break it. He broke it. Oh my gosh, he broke it. McNary to the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, pick six. Oh, holy cow. We user picked it. He broke the tackle and he takes it to the house. What a bad, bad pass that was. Holy cow. As we go up 28 to nothing. Wow. I mean, I was expecting at least a little bit of a fight, you know? UTEP back out onto the field on offense. They have got to be just completely demoralized, getting routed here in the first half. Oh my gosh, they can't even hold on to passes. They are not feeling too good right now. And I'm keeping the pressure up. This quarterback has made some mistakes. So I'm just going to keep, keep bringing home the blitz. Got him. Here we go. George Douglas with the sack there. Beer coverage. He found the hole, but it doesn't matter. It is another three and out for UTEP. Defense coming up big this game so far. Back on offense here, 310 left in the first half. We're up 28 to nothing. Just not even fair of a game right now. There's still, there's stacking box here. I'm gonna run straight into it though. Big, big, big hole just right up the gut. He's in the Heisman conversation. So we gotta keep feeding him. There we go. Up to 77 yards on the ground. That's good. 64 with Nichols. Two TDs as well. We're definitely going to have a lot more by the time this is all said and done. Ooh, they're stacking strong side. And then they go to weak side. I had to bring that back. Dude, I audible out and they shift the floater to the side that I'm going to. Like, they know, they know it before I run it. <laughs> Got it. Lead blockers for Nichols. Shrugging him off. Here we go. 23 seconds left. We got we got to feed Nichols, right? We can use some timeouts. We got to feed him until we get him into the end zone. And it only took one play. So here we are. <laughs> Nichols with his third touchdown of the day. Not looking too good for UTEP, that's for sure. 35 to nothing. UTEP has ran 16 plays. Just an absolute beatdown going on right now. After deferring, UTEP gets the ball back. I don't know what they're going to do here in the second half. They're going to come out and try to pass it or what, but they have 64 total yards of offense right now, so they definitely got to do something because what they're doing right now is not working. Oh, I thought I could get there. I thought I could get there. Can we get another... Three and out. Oh, he dropped it. Oh my God. This UTEP team, they're struggling. We got the blocker set up here. Oh, we got the blocker set up here. What a spin. 10, five touchdown. Of course, there's a flag. Personal foul clipping. 
God dang it. That spin was phenomenal. Oh, oh, got picked up and slammed. No, we got that though. Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh, I felt that one. Richardson got himself a good game. 11-14, 179 and a tutty. I mean, I am not mad at that at all. Oh, that was the cutback of a century and I accidentally ran into my own guy. Oh my gosh, that was nothing but daylight there. Over the top. Nichols is what? Oh my God. Oh, I thought he caught it. Bro, I passed to the wrong guy. That's gonna be a good punt though. Oh, with the UTEP offense. Ugh. This quarterback is so flustered. Bring the heat and he doesn't know what to do. Oh, what? What? Hey, Kreshki. Oh, what? No way. Kreshki. Break it. Oh, buddy. He ran out of juice. What the heck just happened there? I don't know how he broke out of that. And Pimpleton we trust here? No, oh, but I have Sullivan. Or Dixon, not Sullivan. Dixon's over there. Sullivan's other side. We got nice and close for... You know who. Time for Nichols to get another one. Which he does. Holy cow. 42 to nothing. Two big picks. Big returns on both those picks. Surprise, surprise, UTEP stalls out on their offensive drive. We got the ball back. 221 left here in the third, and we're up 42 to nothing. This is, this is just an absolute beat down. And if one thing is certain, it is that Nichols will be fed. Cause he, he is hungry. If we can get him up over, oh, we'll get him up over a hundred easily. This is probably gonna be a cutback inside here. Oh, we actually got stopped. I think that might be the first time that we've been stopped on offense. Oh, uh, oh, he broke it? Bro, stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, ball's out. Oh my gosh. Another, another three and out. Like it's... Nothing. Look at that. 302 total yards to 127. We're driving down really fast, though, so we have 44 to their 32 plays. Like, we're getting a lot of quick strikes. Gonna continue to feed Nichols here. Gotta get those yards up. Gotta get, gotta stay a finalist for him for Heisman. Oh, I thought maybe I could cut that back so hard enough that the linebacker would over pursue. Man, I'm, I'm having a hard time just getting it up to the 100 mark here. They're definitely queuing on the run now, though. Like, look at all the people in the box here. Got him. What a juke. Jesus. 14, 19, 209, and a tutty. I need to actually get him up to 250 for our visits. God, hardest freaking thing in the world to get him to 100 yards. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Finally, we're up over 100. Took 28 attempts to get there, but we got there. We're gonna try this good old play action again. Worked for us pretty well last time. He didn't. Dixon did though. For a touchdown. Oh my gosh, 15 to 20 for 220. We need 30 more yards at least so that we can get those juicy, juicy bonuses for our visits. I don't think they're gonna score. I really don't. Their their offense just can't really get going, and every time it's gotten going, they've thrown a pick or it's just nothing, nothing but three and outs. 
like they've had like five three and outs this game five or six it's been a lot i would love to get the ball back twice would be awesome so we can try to get those uh those visit goals done wow they're actually running the ball wow take a three yard loss all right we're dropping back into straight coverage here for this third and eight. Oh my god they're running another draw oh my gosh another three and out what a surprise but we get the ball back here 433 left i'm gonna try to get richardson these last 30 that he needs so that we can get those visit goals done and hey score another touchdown in the process would be great too i got him i got him beauty let's get it in one play shall we <laughs> We actually got the wheel route perfect. The guy bit hard on a flat and just got absolutely burned. Six attempts, six TDs in the red zone. Let's spread it out, run it in, shall we? Yeah, they're stacking weak side. They've been doing it all game. I'm gonna go with it though. Easy, just a walk in. Just an absolute, just walk in, dude. I didn't, I didn't have to hit speed boost. We just walked it in. Nichols having himself a day today as we go up 56 to nothing. Oh my gosh. Another sack, another coverage sack there. You know, I mean, I almost feel bad at this point. Another three and out for him, 305 left. All right, you know the name of the game here. As time's running down, it is the Feed the Nickel Show. We need more. More yards, more. I honestly might just try to go for it on fourth down if we don't get this right here. Because it's like, at this point, what's a punt going to do, you know? Oh, good thing. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh my gosh, I thought we got it. Easy. What a broken tackle there on that first, that first, making that first guy missed. Give me a big, give me a halfback dive. Our bigs versus their bigs. You should have stopped me because I'm not against running scores up. That's for sure. They're probably going to follow him over, but I want the extra blockers here. They didn't. Okay. Oh, it's Luke's. It's not even, it's not even Nichols for the last play of the game. It's not even him. Yeah, I'm trying to field goal. Why not? We got to keep that efficiency at hundred, you know, unless we miss this, which we could. Nope. 59 to nothing. Wow. I mean, what can he even say? 16 to 21, 269, two touchdowns. Nichols had a buck 24 and five tutties. I mean, geez, beats. Sullivan, five catches, 95 yards. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. I am so sad both these guys are going to be gone for us. Pimpleton had a TD and Dixon had a TD as well as all of our wide receivers or seniors are going to be gone. On the defensive side of the ball, Hairston had two sacks, Johnson one, Douglas one. McNary had that huge pick six, 85 yards he had. Kreschke had himself a pick as well. I don't think we're going to get the picks and the deflections that we need for the recruits coming to visit, but still a good game nonetheless. I mean, the big thing here though, look at the total offense. 417 to 134 yards utep couldn't get anything going whatsoever they didn't complete a single third down and overall it was just an absolute beat down but i mean there it is 59 to nothing what can you say we rocked they sucked we're on to next week hopefully that's gonna help with our recruits that we had coming in to visit although they came in and visit when there's a blizzard going on that's one way to get recruits to not come to your school but a great game Nonetheless, for Central Michigan, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today. Greatly appreciate it. But I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you on the next one.